Middle Tennessee, they're a team who has shown some, I mean, a team who was so good from the get-go, and they've got to be even better. That's really scary, man. Oh, definitely. They suffered a brief loss of momentum when they lost the Wild Side Tag Team Championships to Shane Helms and Shannon Moore. However, they have been on such a roll since that date. Suicidal tendencies unstoppable here in NCW NWA Wild Side. Absolutely unstoppable. And also the fact that they no longer have Air Paris on their side. Air Paris, you know, affiliated now with uh, World Championship Cancelled Wrestling. Adam Jacobs is going to be starting this matchup out with Jeremy Lopez. Jacobs. The crowd seems to be uh, suicidal tendencying up. Uh, definitely suicidal tendencies. Two of the most popular young athletes in Cornelia, Georgia, in NWA Wildside nationwide. There, and this should be a tremendous opening matchup. High flying all the way. Yeah, no kidding. And Jeremy Lopez, I mean, his side is very deceptive. Yes, he's a good deal shorter than a lot of the athletes you see here at Wildside. But boy, the guy was talking about a man who was trained by Boris Malenko. So in other words, that changes everything. Jeremy Lopez, the new Mr. JL, a very crafty guy, and he knows so much, and Suicidal Tendencies is gonna find out firsthand. Of course, we've talked before about Jeremy Lopez's experience from uh, the WCW Saturday Night program. He was a regular there before the show got canceled. And uh, now Adam Jacobs and Lopez, look at Adam Jacobs there taunting Jason Cross, four of the most outstanding athletes in Wildside. I, I'm just looking forward to this match. Oh, hey, are you gonna be looking forward to this? there in the ring. Lopez now what? Uh, complaining about a pull of the tights? He's not very happy. Of course he's not very happy. I mean, suicidal tendencies? I mean, we're talking about a team as good as Lopez and Jason Cross are. They are a new tag team. Suicidal tendencies have been teaming together now for quite a number of months and have been amazing everybody. Most of all, amazing their opponents. This does not bode well for Cross and Lopez. But, as they say, the evening is young. Oh, definitely there is a standing waist lock by Adam Jacobs. Off the ropes comes Lopez. He does an elbow. He does a clothesline. Leapfrog by Jacobs. Kick to the midsection by Lopez. Comes up and overlook at Adam Jacobs. Go! Is it hot? Flat all the way. What a back elbow by Adam Jacobs. Really hit the mark. Lopez down for only a one count. Lopez needs to gather his wits. The, the few he may have left. I think Lopez is taking this match a little too lightly. I'm thinking that maybe through deception by uh, through uh, various um, odd little activities, he's been able to put the, pull the wool over the eyes. The suicidal tendencies, the suicidal tendencies are about as deceptive a crew as you're ever likely to find. Tag made into Jason Cross and Adam Jacobs. He's going to tag in John Phoenix. We know the history between these two men and the history of Jason Cross being a former and albeit brief member of Suicidal Tendency. This should be very interesting. Uh, we've mentioned this before. I'm ad nauseum sometimes. Two, uh, two combatants, two athletes who know each other very well, coming up with a potent move against the other one is going to be very, very difficult. Oh, definitely. A nice chain wrestling. What kind of wrestling is that? That's arrogant, Steven. I call, I call that a welcome mat. Oh, my goodness. Walking across the back of John Phoenix, and Phoenix is not too impressed, and Cross has had to take this little psychological advantage a little too heavily. Well, Jason Cross touts the fact that he's so athletic, and he can fly all over the ring, and he has all these innovative maneuvers, and that's all well and good. But when your attitude absolutely sucks, that everything you get in the wrestling business is going to come back to bite you right on the butt. What a spinning kick by John Phoenix! And down went Cross, and I'm sure Cross is feeling somewhat Cross at the moment. Your little verbal joust for this match here. Oh, brain buster by John Phoenix. Jason Cross is down, and he went down hard. We could have an upset early here. No, I don't think it's particularly an upset, particularly. Uh, oh, an upset this early in the match. Gee, now, Adam Jacobs, quick kick to the midsection. Jason Cross. Oh, a drop kick. I, I think that's textbook perfect. 
Although I've always doubted the existence of such a textbook. Adam Jacobs coming up, moves on from the second turnbuckle. Adam Jacobs on front. I hear that textbook's out of print, Dan. I'll tell you something that I'm looking forward to later on this match, and of course, later on this evening with that incredible main event, we also have the return of the Beast. Yes, the Beast here at NWA Wilds on Raw. Keep your eye on Adam Jacobs, clutches over the top, and Jason Cross is there. Jason Cross is there. And Jason Cross is there. Jason Cross is dealing with a flatter than he was when he entered this ring. I wonder why. Well, they earned their name. Suicidal tendencies. Not afraid to put their bodies at risk. Adam Jacobs now with a fisherman suplex and a bridge. Looks like referee Andrew Thomas decided to initially try the count with his injured arm. And matter of fact, my arm's about as injured as his is by now. Tag made to John Phoenix, tremendous high face tag team action here in NWA Wildside this week. Coming off the heels of some of the greatest action here in NWA Wildside. Look at John Phoenix into the corner, Jason Cross caught him! Ragging suplex, I think he broke his neck. Phoenix landed on his head! On his head following that dragon suplex. I don't know if Phoenix will be able to keep this up. Oh no, Lopez moving in for the kill. Dropping elbow after elbow on the head of Phoenix. That was one of the most vicious maneuvers I have ever seen. The Dragon Suplex with a release, releasing John Phoenix as he landed atop his head. Now Jason Cross sadistically following up here, and a Brain Buster working on the neck now of John Phoenix. This is despicable. Now, not despicable, it's actually very smart wrestling, very intelligent wrestling. You see an injured opponent go after the injury. If you're injured, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be participating in the ring. It's actually quite intelligent wrestling, a smart maneuvering from the new team of Lopez and Cross. Oh, so valid point. And another brain buster by Jeremy Lopez. They're really looking to take out suicidal tendencies here and earn their quote unquote spot in NWA Wild Side. They're doing a damn good job at this rate. Phoenix will not be able to keep this up too much longer. No way. Oh, look at this. The rolling leg scissors submission hold and a drop kick combination by Jeremy Lopez Jacobs in to make the save that could have been all. Boy, at the last possible split second, and an elbow now right to the chest of Phoenix. Going after the neck with the referee's attention diverted. Going after the neck of John Phoenix. Smart move. And Jeremy Lopez could be softening him up. He has an elevated variation of a DDT that plants his opponents right on their neck. That's his respective finishing move. And uh, John Phoenix is in a world of hurt. Well, no kidding. And Adam Jacobs now arguing with referee Andrew Thomas. And maybe if Thomas would quit uh, selling that ridiculous faux injury of his and pay attention to where all the action is, maybe we'll get like something something genuine like a pitfall here. There's double clothesline. No, John Phoenix ducks. Clothesline of his own. Where does, where does Phoenix get that from? Really? I mean, he, the neck was just being worked on and almost like Superman. John Phoenix comes out. Look at that. Jason Cross coming up and over. Kick to the midsection. Ducks in Enzigiri. A reverse Enzigiri from Cross. Down goes Phoenix, but Cross is still feeling the pain. And fans at home, this is NWA Wild Sight. And action like this happens each and every time we're on the air. You know what? It's another day at the office. This incredible action is just another day at the office. Jason Cross. And by the way, at this office, our secretary, Laz. And he's coming up in this edition of NWA Wild Sight. God help us all. A clothesline following up in the corner. Look at that backflip. What athleticism by Jason Cross. Spin kick in the corner. You're not going to pin somebody by doing backflips. Oh, dear. Cross met. A lariat from Adam Jacobs. And now Lopez zooming in on Phoenix. Irish whip into the corner. Jeremy Lopez, no reversal by John Phoenix. He's up. Going for one. This could be a monkey flip. No. Jeremy Lopez, this is his inverted tarantula, Stephen. The inverted tarantula. John Phoenix is dying. Phoenix cannot withstand this, this, this incredible offense from the team of Lopez and Cross. Tendencies were not expecting this. They expected a, a team of inexperience. They expected a team of almost green caliber. They're not getting it here tonight. Well, Jeremy Lopez, of course, we spoke earlier, the Malenko background, so critiqued, so well scouted and well educated in submission wrestling, and that inverted tarantula put John Phoenix through the ring. Phoenix now over the top. Ah, oh, Cross now with dropping a leg, following a spin. Whoa! 
incredible offense with move one after another. John Phoenix kicks out. That was a corkscrew leg drop and a rolling leg drop. John Phoenix showing what he's made of. Now Jason Cross locking him deep into a front chancery. As they used to say, he's cinching it in. John I mean, as we're taping this, next week here at the, N at the well, NCW Arena, or well, actually, it might be taking place by the time you, uh, wa everybody's watching this, it will be Hardcore Hell. Hardcore Hell should shortly be appearing on home video, on Wildside home video, very, very soon. Keep your eyes peeled here at NWA Wildside. And look at that, Adam Jacobs made the tag, but Andrew Thomas was too busy being a damn parasite, and he couldn't, he didn't see the tag, I don't believe it. I thought Andrew Thomas being the referee is supposed to referee the action in the ring, but no, he's arguing with Adam Jacobs, who presently is not even involved. Well, we know the history between the NWA elite and suicidal tendencies. They're going to the fact that we know the history between the NWA elite and Andrew Thomas, so Thomas may have it out for suicidal tendencies from the get-go here. He certainly have. We know he, he definitely keeps, takes things very personal. Whoa, roll up for Phoenix! On no, oh, not enough for a pin. Oh, Lopez now with a big fist in the face of Jacobs. And Jacobs, we know how passionate it is about his craft. He's way, way too anxious to get involved here. And unfortunately, causing a lot of damage to his partner, John Phoenix, in the attempt. Oh, Jacobs so emotional, and sometimes it backfires, as you pointed out right here. Jacobs desperately wants to get in to help Phoenix. His emotions, his mind is telling him not to, but his heart says go help his fallen partner. Again, this being a tag match to help his partner, you're gonna have to tag in. And until that time, he better stay put. Mr. Adam Jacobs, all that. Oh, Jason Cross with a very lackadaisical foot on the chest of John Phoenix. Phoenix is having none of that, despite the incredible shape, the bad shape he's been put through, the ringer he's been put through from the get-go. With a super kick by Adam Jacobs, nailing Jason Cross in the back of the head. He didn't take too kindly to that. Who would? John Phoenix. Up oh, now, key to the midsection, Snapmare takeover, and Jason Cross sitting it in. We could see an upset here. Good Guerrero will be, however, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more NWA Wildside coming up right after this. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is NWA Wildside, and you're watching In the Ring Suicidal Tendencies, Will Barrel Suplex. That's John Phoenix, and he just nailed Jason Cross. With all the punishment Phoenix has been enduring in this match, where he gets that reserve from, I have I don't know, he gets it from the Phoenix Reserve. Well, this is a chance. John Phoenix makes the tag. He makes the tag. Adam Jacobs in the ring. He's going wild. Irish whip. Jeremy Lopez. There's that beautiful drop kick. Adam Jacobs lighting it up here at NWA Wildside, Steven. His drop kicks are perfectly aimed. No matter how tall his opponents are, no matter if they're a crung in all fours, those drop kicks connect, and they're causing some serious damage. While a spinning neck breaker, down goes Lopez. John Phoenix now in the ring. Suicidal tendencies bringing this one back home, back into their corner. John Phoenix, Adam Jacobs, what a double team move! Nearly swapped the head off of Jason Cross. Oh, now Jeremy Lopez brought into the ring by his hair, unwillingly. Andrew Thomas not allowing the pin. Apparently he's not the legal man. Shades of the French Revolution there, what a guillotine. That wasn't a double drop kick. By suicidal tendencies, this exciting young tag team has everything in the world going for him in Wildside Superstars right here. They've been superstars from the first time they ever called themselves suicidal tendencies and lived up to their moniker right from the get-go. And now Adam Jacobs is definitely all that and showing it firsthand. Oh, Jason Cross, the meeting a foot to the face of Phoenix. And Andrew Thomas out for the pin. Your winners of the match, Suicidal Tendencies! Suicidal Tendencies, what an incredible arsenal from both, from both Jason Cross and Mr. JL, Jeremy Lopez, despite that incredible offense, Suicidal Tendencies continue their winning ways here at NWA Wildside. More coming up after this.